Hello, my name is Zeebin DC. In this video, I will go over accessibility features for the iPhone for those who are hearing impaired. The phone used in this video is the iPhone SE. To get to these features, go into your settings app and scroll down until you get to accessibility. You will recognize it by the blue icon with the stick figure in a circle. Hearing features are grouped together under the group of physical and motor related features, which I have covered in another video. You can view the other iPhone accessibility videos by clicking on the playlist at the end of the video. The first tab is for hearing devices. Here, you can pair an MFI hearing device and increase compatibility with certain hearing aids. For non-MFI hearing devices, go into the Bluetooth settings and pair from there. Next is sound recognition. By turning this on, your phone will alert you to certain sounds that it picks up such as a fire alarm or a doorbell ringing. You can select each sound and turn them on to your preference and choose which tone you want to play when receiving an alert. Below sound recognition is RTT slash TTY. When you turn on software RTT slash TTY, you will have the ability to make and receive real-time text and TTY calls while using the phone app when available. You can set the relay number that you dial to start the relay call and select whether you want the characters to send immediately when they are typed. If you turn send immediately off, the message will not send until it is completed. With answer RTT calls as muted, your microphone will be muted with every new call. This does not apply with emergency calls. Answer all calls as RTT slash TTY will prevent calls from being answered as voice calls. Lastly, hardware TTY will allow you to connect a TTY device to make and receive calls. Incoming calls will default to TTY with this option turned on. The next tab in the hearing section of accessibility is audio visual. Here you can turn on headphone accommodations to customize the audio of compatible Apple or Beats headphones. You can tune the audio three ways. First is for balanced tone, meaning that various frequencies will be boosted evenly. Next is vocal range, which will boost middle frequencies. Lastly, there is brightness, which will only boost high frequencies. There is a sliding scale that allows you to change the boost level of softer sounds. When your headphones are connected, you can play a sound sample to hear what your selections will sound like. If you are satisfied with these settings, you can choose to have them applied to phone audio and or media, meaning videos, music, and anything else that may use sound outside of the phone app. Below headphone accommodations is background sounds. By turning this on, White noise will play from your phone to block out any background noise. You can select the type of sound and the volume. You can choose to have this setting on when media is playing and adjust the volume of the sound so it will lower or increase when listening to media. There is also the option to stop the sounds when the iPhone is locked. Otherwise, it will continue to play sounds when your phone is inactive. Mono audio will make it so that the left and right speakers will play the same sounds. This will make it easier to listen if you have worse hearing in one ear. Phone noise cancellation will reduce the ambient noises on phone calls when you have the receiver to your ear, making it easier to hear the person on the other end. Headphone notifications will warn you if the volume of what you are listening to is loud enough to cause hearing damage. Balance allows you to set the volume more to the left ear or to the right ear. The last setting in audio visual is LED flash for alerts, which will cause the screen to flash whenever you receive an alert, such as a text message. You can choose to have it only flash on silent mode as well. The final hearing tab in accessibility is subtitles and captioning. Closed captions in SDH will present closed captions and subtitles whenever available. You can choose the style of captions and preview what each one looks like. You can also create your own style. You have the options to name it, change the font, change the text size, change the color of the text, change the color and transparency of the background, the transparency of the text, the style of the edges of the text, and whether the text is highlighted and what color the highlights are. Lastly, you can show audio transcriptions for announcements made by the HomePod home device. 
This has been a basic overview of the hearing settings on the iPhone SE. If you have more specific questions, let me know in the comments. I can also be reached on weekday mornings at 203-729-3299, extension 1016, or by email at zbandisi at indnw.org.